The future of driving could be no one behind the wheel. At least that's what the autonomous driving tech company Waymo is hoping. To arrive at that goal, the company has started testing its self-driving cars on fast-moving highways. For, for tonight's In Depth, CBS's Chris Van Cleve went along for a ride. So we're getting on the freeway. We're on a first drive on the freeway with no one behind the wheel. It's a glimpse into the future with Waymo, the self-driving ride hailing service owned by Google's parent company as it prepares to take riders on the freeway. The car stays under the speed limit, which is 65. Riding with us is principal software engineer Pierre Kreitman. Freeways are critical for Waymo. Uh, that's one of the number one requests we get from our riders. And in some ways it's a competitive disadvantage. Right, today for long trips, Waymo uh, uh, is sometimes a bit slow to get to the destination. Waymo already operates more than 150,000 paid driverless rides a week in Arizona and California, with plans to expand further to Austin and Atlanta in the coming months, as well as add freeway rides this year. They estimate freeway access will benefit about one in every four rides. Waymo's Jacopo you know, I mean, Sanazaro. Being able to operate on, seamlessly on the freeway is that missing piece to being able to do everything that a human driver can do. You can put it this way, it's definitely a step in that direction. The freeway is so important because it's all about saving time. Freeways are usually faster than surface streets, and that's huge when people are hailing a ride. Cameras, radar, and other sensors allow the car to see a full 360 degrees. What's the biggest challenge to getting the car to work well on the freeway? Part of it is the speed, because the speeds are so high and the mistakes are so costly. So it's really about never making a mistake, taking cautious distances to objects in front of you, and predicting things that can go wrong. Is that the bar, never making a mistake? So the bar is to make as few mistakes as possible and be safer than a human driver would be. Waymo cites its data showing in over 25 million miles driven, its cars saw 72% fewer injury-causing collisions compared to human drivers. But they are not perfect, as seen in viral videos like this one showing a Waymo accidentally driving into a parade route before safely pulling over. Waymo run to the parade. The work now is focused on fine-tuning to get its passengers in a faster lane. Chris Van Cleve, CBS News, Phoenix.